So um, welcome public inventors. Um, some of you, I, I know many of you, but many of you may not be aware of this. Let me just sort of try to explain what we're about and who we are and what we're doing. Public Invention is a US public charity, a 501c3 tax deductible um, charity. And this is our first conference, which is public. Um, and it's gonna go on for about three hours, but we have a, a, an agenda so people can come and go if they want. Um, oops. Uh, so uh, we normally have a code of conduct. In this case, because it's a short meeting, just send me email or notify my assistant, Rachel Karp, who is here and in the Slack channel or myself if you are bullied or harassed and uh, we'll um, boot people out. Um, you can welcome to submit questions either by chat or by Slack. Um, we do have quite a few people here, but you can also unmute yourself and ask a question. I would like this to be um, a live experience. There's no point in having a live conference if, if you're not allowed to ask questions. Um, so hopefully we'll do that. After the conference, um, compliments of Adam Riggs, we're gonna have a social hour using a different um, uh, software system. There's a link to it here in this slide. Um, there's also a link will be at the end. Uh, and so at the end of this conference, um, we're gonna post that link again and we hope everybody will join us there for sort of an informal festivity. So let me explain the agenda of the, the conference. The first part is uh, two hours and I'm going to give a little bit of an introduction. And then um, in fact, Sonica will will talk a little bit about some of the things that we've done. And then I'm gonna talk um, about the pandemic ventilator ventilation work that we've done. But really these two hours are for us to discuss um, projects which we have worked on throughout the year. Uh, and then we would like the audience to assist us by playing a game, which Rachel has set up, which I'll explain uh, a little bit further. It's not a competitive game. The purpose of the game is to measure the humanitarian impact of the work that we are trying to do. Um, so we're gonna ask you, we're, you're gonna see seven projects uh, related to the pandemic and then five other projects. And we're gonna ask you to evaluate the um, humanitarian impact of those projects if they were fully completed. Uh, uh, if they were fully completed. And the goal of the game, if you want to think of it as a game, is to get as close to the median value of everyone's judgment as you can. And uh, Rachel will, will say what the, the median value was uh, later on when she's had time to process all of that. Um, I hope people will talk to each other in the Slack channel or in the Slack channel here. Um, one of the best things about these conferences are getting to know people that you might not have met before. Um, so we're gonna have an introduction uh, that's gonna be me talking about some things, Sonica talking about some things, and then um, we're going to uh, evaluate the pandemic projects. And so you're gonna hear from seven different speakers, more or less about quite a few projects. And then we're gonna take a little break and execute the game, uh, which will you'll have to go to a different uh, link to do that. Um, and then we're gonna come back and talk about the, the non-pandemic. Uh, projects. Uh, the second part, uh, we're going to talk about um, public invention. Um, we're going to talk about the alliances and our relationships with other organizations. So we're going to talk about the finances, um, the conferences which we've held in the past, and we're also going to hear from two Rice University teams, which I am sort of uh, sponsoring or mentoring in a certain way. And then we're gonna hear from um, very important organizations which are parallel to public invention. Uh, one of them is Helpful Engineering, another is Open Source Medical Supplies. Um, that's gonna be discussed by Victoria Jacqua, who is actually on the board of public invention, as well as being a leader of Open Source Medical Supplies. And then Cosmic, which is sort of a Canadian version of Helpful Engineering, um, which is specifically trying to make open source medical uh, equipment. And then we're gonna talk about academic papers, not because they're particularly important, but because I want people to understand that if you work, if you volunteer for public invention, 
you're, you're likely to be eventually an author of an academic publication because that motivates many of our volunteers. And then finally, if, if, we, if I don't screw up the time uh, that we have, we're going to um, uh, spend the final part of the uh, three hours talking about the plans and visions for public convention. And I really want audience feedback uh, about that. Um, that's the whole point of what we're doing here. And then one thing that's very important is we're gonna give out some awards. Um, the reason I think this is important is most of the people I know on this call um, uh, work either for public convention or for some other organization as a volunteer and they don't get paid. And so um, you at least deserve to be acknowledged and appreciated. And so um, public convention um, tries very hard to sort of every year give out awards for its volunteers. And this year we're actually giving out some uh, awards to a larger um, number of people. 